needs like a, a hearty treat to win. I, I feel like we played our cards inefficiently. Maybe I should not have been so greedy. We can still roll three and a two now. Maybe I should not have been so greedy with like my my, my mixed nuts and, and stuff. Oh boy! Let's go! It's nice you are here. Let's go! We roll double ones, we win. Are you kidding me? That was a miracle! What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today I'm really excited for two reasons. First of all, I haven't done a budget deck in a while. And second of all, I think that Midrose is, uh, in my opinion, just been working on this deck and it's slowly becoming, in my opinion, one of the strongest decks uh, in terms of consistency in the entire game. I present to you the budget Midrose deck, a mid uh, means we're focusing on, you know, a lot of really strong cards on turns 3, 4, and 5. Not necessarily super late game, not necessarily uh, aggro either. I'm not running any Haunted Pumpkins. I'm actually not running any event cards in this deck. So this is going to be one of the most budget decks. And I think even though this is a lot harder to play than your typical aggro solar flare or your smash sports or your super brains, you know, gravestone decks, this is going to be much harder to play. I think this deck is actually going to be better uh, running a bunch of rares, but again, extremely cheap deck, very accessible to any player in this game. Uh, so the turn one, you're not necessarily developing anything. Uh, if it's a safe sunflower, and this is why you got to know a little bit about the game you can't play this into an immortition pass or a brainstormer pass they're just going to use summoning bats backup dancers in order to kill this so uh in, in a safe situation you can play this on one and then play actually a four four mixed nuts on turn two which is amazing even scooping this back up uh with the rescue radish is actually a very strong play on turn two uh so you can play again a three four on turn two you can also ramp up and then like play a little buddy and then scoop that up with your rescue radish and then you can play the little buddy again it's really nice that we have all these little team up cards uh because even though again no cop cannon we have a lot of cards which do well uh when placed on top of you know with little cards other little cards in the field the elderberry uh any of these minions can just be used to front one of your strike through which will make it continuously hit and the creative idea uh, that we got here is Tricorn. I actually got this whole deck idea. I should probably credit the person who sent this to me because this is sort of a. Uh, it was from Dan New sixty four here on Twitch. Uh, so the Tricorn is going to be the finisher, and you know if if they're dealing with a bunch of other threats on the field, you're going to be developing a lot of tempo on turns three and four and five. When you get to six on the Tricorn, it's incredible, and this also again is very good just with your little buddies, your sunflowers, your little corn cards. They're actually running a couple of. Ice spores as well for some removal, running some jumping beans uh, and some hammers just to either you know answer your opponent's big cards or better yet, if you have like a 4 4 on the field, you want to be able to hammer or something uh, in order to keep on hitting their face. Uh, the damage is again not a super high damage deck, the elderberry is high damage, but I think that the tricorn also is because it's, if they don't have an answer to this, it just does a ton of damage. Uh, so we'll do like eight damage that turn on average. Uh, this, uh, uh, you can develop the Apple Saucer on turn two. Again, just have to know the matchup, know if this is going to be good against your opponents. Let's say crazy opponents who have Bungie Plumber. This is less good against Rust Bolt, who doesn't really have a great, I mean, maybe he has beat me up, but uh, is not going to really, against Hardy heroes typically are not going to have a great answer for two cause three, two, so then this would be better. You can always save this for the late game, and then this is three damage strike. There's just another threat on the field. I think this deck is going to come together really well. I have really high hopes. Now, I do have a curse that every single time I do a budget deck recently, it doesn't actually end up working. <laughs> That's the problem. But I, I really do have high hopes in this one. Hope you guys enjoy. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get really salty if this doesn't work. Uh, we're going to start the channel point bets. As usual, if you think this deck will go 8-2, and two, we're doing a regular channel points bet. So if you think this deck is going to go at least 8 wins out of 10, vote yes, and if not, vote no. I personally think it will. I personally think it will. The voting starts for the next 5 minutes. Uh, here it is. Here it is. Alright. So this is a really cool start, especially against Huge Against, because there's absolutely no answer to this. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of you. Oh, it just got better. Okay, we're getting rid of the, the this now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so strong. Should I look for a four? I'm gonna look for a four. Okay. This is still really, really good. Even this play on turn three is gonna be so... Oh my gosh, this is so strong. I'm gonna do this on Heights because he has a few, like, strike through environments. I don't want him killing the Sunflower for free. Um, 
By the way, today I to the live stream, today's June 18th, I just started a new YouTube channel. It's called Roast Them Up, and I put an Among Us roast. It turned out fantastic. I don't care what anyone says. Now, everyone really, so far who's seen it, has, has really liked it. So, super pleased about that. How do we play around Beam Me Up? I think this is the play. Like, the Beam Me Up at least kills the Sunflower, right? We don't necessarily... Well, we'll need the next extra sun to get to five, that's for sure. Um... So yeah, roast them up, boys. It's exclamation point roasts now. I changed that, uh... Want a link to the channel? Yup! Super, super happy with how it came out. Huge shout out to Slate I should put his credit. I forgot to put it in the video. Do that. Brains! Is this gonna be a leap deck? It's looking awfully like a leap deck. This actually allows us to go face this turn. Might be good. Okay, I'm getting too many little buddies is the problem. Should I go face or should I take? I think I'm going to go after this. I think the deadly next turn. I don't want that to hit the... Uh, the bro we'll get value out of these little buddies. I mean, we'll have things to upgrade and we'll be able to protect our guys. and That's fine. This doesn't do anything. That's a very underrated card. Rainana. Can't stress that enough. Little Buddy's very underrated, too. This looks good here. Pogo. Oh, it's like a two for one. Really strong. Wow, he doesn't even go for it. He must have a mug in his hands. Oh boy. This is looking awfully like just regular Conjure Leap. Uh, little buddy does activate this, which is nice. Nice. In fact... Wow. Wait. Oh, there's no way to ice for here. Damn. Okay. So the pogo is, is always hitting this. I think we're still okay here. We don't actually have to preserve these little buddies. It's like this. The question is, do I want to stick something here? It's only the mug, the one in three. Everything else is a good trade. This probably gets balanced and the little buddy dies for free anyway. I don't need the extra health. I mean, I'm sitting on 20 health right now. That's just fine. Oh boy. He got the mug in the right lane. Don't lie, I forgot to do the mug glitch. I should have clicked on it. I have to get used to that, of clicking on the mug. If you click on the mix of Grave Digger while it's going in the gravestones, you can see the order. I should just do that. Even though it's BS, but... He actually got a absolutely perfect... Um... Perfect thing. What do I go for here? Do I go for the second mug? I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, uh, that's not necessarily a good mog at all. That's cool. Block meter charge. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> We're not sitting on 20 health. I don't have to do anything. What the hell is this? Okay. So, I am going to develop... Gonna develop. Envelop. Okay, so that is gonna get hit next turn. It's just like... I, I, I'll save the ice for this. Play this. Make sure to play the same one. Go. Pretty good play. Pretty good play. Yeah, because the little blade that was definitely great. Uh, we need some more like him cards. I'd love to see an Elderberry or a Tricorn here. Uh, Undying Pharaoh will just go down, so that's a funny answer to this here. Coming on a full block meter again. Thank you. Whee! Except Godify sitting in here somewhere. He's conjuring so many cards. Down to seven. I need some strike through. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Mm hmm. He didn't really muck 
Oh, man. <laughs> so stupid. Um. So it's gonna be like you. Like. E Ooh. Well, no, I can't replay. Well, it's like this. Yup. I forgot to do the mug thing again. <laughs> okay, we're gonna we're gonna get used to this. This is this is an important skill I need. It's just a habit, really. I need to click on mugs. Okay. Get doinked. Get doinked, bitch. Um, good go, fine. He's just not running out of cards. The problem. I I need some. Rem this is why I'm running the removal. It's not enough. I need strike through. Removal and tricorn. Where the hell are you, tricorn? There we are. Oh, the synergy. I'll take it. I wonder if this guy's stream sniping. Plank walk walk. It hurts. It hurts. Please, nothing stupid. Oh, the instead. Let's see, like a barrel in here. Um, so I Spore looks like the play. Is there any reason to no? This has to be it. There's no creative play here, right? We're okay. Goat dies for free. Just need one more lake in card. Oh, block meter not behaving. Here we go. This does four, right? Ha! Ah, shut up. He passed her nine? Bro. The heels. I think it's just like this. We ha this has to be in two lanes because of proccing, blocking, and stuff like that. Just again, seven health tier two. So if he rolls a three, we'll, we'll still be okay. It's Bad Moon Rising. As long as we avoid the BS here, we should be okay. He did get a surprise guard, but I don't know how good that is. Teleport. I think we're gonna win. He already get ice moon. No, it's guaranteed lethal. Even if he blocks, which superpower would would save him? Wait, this has strike through. Oh no, this has strike through. Wow, so surprise guard actually saved him there. No, we block. No, we win. Gosh, oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay, we had three on the block meter. That was pretty normal, right? <laughs> Jeez, that was close. But we won! We won! He could have rolled double ones or a three. A th him rolling a three, proccing our block with him. Anyway, we got him, boys. Wow. That that was not an easy, I mean, that was a, that was a, I guess a, it was basically a Conjure Leap Plankwalker deck. Conjure Leap Plankwalker actually sounds really cool. I should try that. Just Plankwalker Zomba. How have I never done that deck? Conjure, leap, plank, walker, leap to Zomba. How have I never tried that before? You do like the amphibious lame plank walker and just turn into a Zomba automatically. Ramp Spacito. So you can get your plank walker in earlier. Hmm. I have so many deck ideas. I'm never gonna run out. This is it's it's good. This is this is a crazy one. Oh, this is look at this hand. Look at this hand. I, I even I forget about budget decks. Even if this is regular, I don't care. This is so good. This is so good. Especially against Rust Ball. How's he gonna deal with this crap? Even if he rockets, he's gonna beam me up into rocket into another rocket. What the? What the? I'm not even fronting that. 
Look at this hand. Oh my gosh. The little buddy also it gets two two shots here. It's incredible. Little buddy's going behind. Look at the curve. The curve is insanity. Uh huh. Healing back up. Here we go. Hope you enjoy. This actually protects the strikes your next turn. This is so strong. I don't know what's going on. Though. There's the rocket. Just means elderberry is a lot stronger. When they have to rocket a three drop and you have plenty of other rocket targets coming up. This is a very good thing. No way to play around chop. Well, yeah, I think we have to play on curve. Well, I could just play this dry. Nah, nah, nah. We have another elderberry. If it gets chopped, it gets chopped. So be it. The ramp. The ramp is free. Hmm, I would really like to block. So far he's low rolling here. Okay. What? Is he going for Bad Moon Rising? He's going for Bad Moon Rising? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't even don't even think about it. See ya. <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh, I think it's just like this. I think this is okay. Thanks. Man just got denied. Going viral? Okay. It's gonna be pretty bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Weed spray. Our, the, the, the good news is our opponent is basically out of steam right now. Think this is right? I don't know though, man. I think that's correct. Ponies really well. Uh, we can try corn. We can do this play. Ooh, we got some plays here. We got a lot of plays here. I feel like try corn is the play that kind of dies a little bit hard. We're not really forced to play the mixed nuts anytime soon. Try corn. Again, just plan evolution. The try corn looks pretty neat here, but I think this is the smart play. This is really, you know, like an escape through time. It's like a team up. Perfect. And then uh, he might really might have had a, a rocket, and then that play just fails really badly. But it's also healing. There's not a ton of flowers in this deck, but it's something, you know. I wonder if if valuing the sunflower over the three one is is better there. Oh boy. What is he going for? And now he's going for Bad Moon Rising. He was going for it before. You know what? You know what I say? Well, is this really the answer to Bad Moon Rising? I, I say we just keep him off this field here. Screw this guy. That goat would have been a problem because it gets pinged by the by the bro anyway. Yeah. It's kind of summoning also gives them brains. Leak. The superpower. Uh, if it's freeze, which it was, blah. Freeze I would have just used for a card, I think. Rescue Radish. 
We have to just commit this tricord at corn at some point here. We'll do it now. Either has a rocket or he doesn't. Been holding that for a few turns, probably. We also could have just done gun six damage by scooping up the apple saucer and replaying it and giving it strike through. That might have just been better. Well, now that he had rocket, it definitely was better. That is definitely a freeze. Getting really low and healthier. Just need the extra cards. Ah, it rolls a three. It's so huge. So now we can't set this up. Oh boy. Perfect. This is actually exactly what we needed. It also heals us, which is pretty sweet. So we'll still heal us for four this turn and set up the elder. <laughs> Look at this combo, guys. The rescue radish little buddy is, is going to get us to 12 health here, man. I'll probably just set up the. Ow. Okay. Probably, well, no, now the smart play is, yeah, since we're healing. Well, we're going to be at six. I guess we leave this alone still. Well. Yeah. It's got to be. Should, we should win here. Two-thirds of a chance. He can also rocket us, still. We're not in the greatest of shapes. His bonus attack also doesn't doesn't do anything, though. So far, so good. And viral. Uh, ooh, going viral wins. Whoops. I should have played around going viral and done this maybe in lane one. Well, okay, didn't have it. In fact, this block meter charge is good for us. Can we just win here, please? Yes. Maybe we've broken the budget curse today. This is going really well. I mean, there was two close games, but um, here we go. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Damn, going viral would have had us there. Wonder if I should play around that. Probably should have, actually. He definitely is running going viral on the deck. He's played one already. <laughs> I should have put the Elder Brain one and just live and died with the with the rocket anyway. If he gets a rocket, he anyway wins. Yeah, I misplayed. Loving this so far. Let's not jinx it. Oh my gosh. It's... Guys. This is so good. I think I'm just gonna keep this hammer, man. Well, what if I... What if he rolling stones this is the problem? Alright, let's look for another... Terrible. Should've kept that hammer. This is a safe play, because it'll just trade with a rolling stone. I just would love a, a, a contingency plan for this for this bra. Maybe I should have kept the... You know what? Now that I'm thinking of it, I should have kept the Rescue Radish. I thought, well, it's not going to be playable if I go for Mixed Nuts, but if this dies, Rescue Radish dry 3-4 on turn 3 is a great play, and it'll give me some time to be able to set this up. Now I'm... Oh. Okay, we got a card, which is really nice here. So, Smash past turn 1 and went Nibble. Huh! Ultimate League Smash with Nibble in the deck. Uh, the audio is the audio being weird for anyone else. He could have his um his superpower. That would suck. Uh, this hand is completely bricked right now. Unfortunately, I should have kept that rescue red. It's just such a misplay. Uh, <laughs> I need to learn how to play this deck too, guys. It does have some fragilities like this, you know. Yes, he didn't have. Any. Gosh. Gargal just smash power on too is so OP. Oh, we got the hammer back, so now. Okay. 
Why are you depressed? Why are you asking me that? I'm ha this is like the happiest I've ever been in my life. Why would you? <laughs> the heck are you saying? Just pass. See if he commits a five cost garg, very likely, because he spammed the gargologist on two. Yeah, this actually said. What the? Okay, so this is the play. Do I want this on the ground? Yeah, for sure. Alright, get one of these. <laughs> Control Smash. This deck should should out tempo Control Smash pretty easily. Look at this hand, too. In your head. They are still crying. I guess being able to hit this lane is good. I might try for an next one. See ya. <laughs> What's in your head? In your head. What's in your head? Uh, so this is the play. You don't have to get the extra value out of this. Just get the value out of the try. Ooh, I maybe should have teamed these up. That actually would have been kind of smart. Oh, it also would have... It would have done eight. Well, this does more damage this way. Hopefully it doesn't block the 12 damage here, though. That would really suck. He doesn't have a way of dealing with this, which is great. And we're just going to keep jumping beaning him now. Probably gonna just play Garg Launcher. <laughs> okay. It's still at six though, after all that, which is kinda ridiculous. Really hope this hits here. Okay, bro. Yes! Yes! Got the damage in. <laughs> These mixed knots are bricked hard. Goes there. What is he doing? What is he going for? Some kind of weed spray play? We don't even have a, a, a bottom for this anymore, man. Alright, this is a pretty good Mog. It's doing a little too much damage. Hunt ass. Why is he passing turn 7? He's going for Maniacal, perhaps. I think it's like this. And like this. <laughs> Another one. <laughs> We're just gonna put the other tricorn on that now. Okay. <laughs> Where's the environment? Let's give that man an environment. I'm a Gorgologist deck, bro. So six and two looks really good. Two and five if he puts like a Garg on the field. Must be rodeo. Ain't my rodeo. The question is, do I want to front this? Maybe I front it with this one. It's got to be rodeo. Firefighter. You got that from us? No! Ouch. So, definitely not. He has only played one Garg so far. This is definitely not what I was expecting out of this guy. We're running at a sun, making inefficient trades, and we got rid of all of our mixed nuts for free, and then that happened. Okay. It's the same old thing. The question is, do I want to take this out? I feel like I'm going to need more damage. So let's do it like this. This might have... Oh, if you roll the three and get smash powers. This should have been the other way around. 
Come on, because then he, he can prevent damage by killing the strong one. Doesn't make a difference. Oh boy. Now we have a superpower. It's not what I wanted. This is always going to happen. I should have done it next turn, though. I really don't like our position right now. Yes. Hello, nurse. So he's getting up to 20. That's uh, gotta be... I'm just worried about this four damage here. This has to be correct. This might still be winnable. Doing eight. Eight, eleven here. He's down to nine. The the smash power is, is really good. At least we killed that guard. I think it's fine. I'll probably play his defensive end again here. Octo, bro. It's like a, a hearty treat to win. I, I feel like we played our cards inefficiently. Maybe I should not have been so greedy. We can still roll a three and a two now. Maybe I should not have been so greedy with like my my, my mixed nuts and, and stuff. Oh boy. We need a leap. We need a leap. Let's go. It's nice you are here. Let's go. We roll double ones, we win. Are you kidding me? That was a miracle. We rolled a... Th Wait. We rolled a two and a three and then rolled double ones on the other side. We got him, boys. We got him, boys. Thank you so much to Nas for 16 months. Bro, that's a highlight intro. All right, here we go. Oh, stop. <laughs> I love seeing HG and then seeing this combo. It's so great. Uh, do we keep the Power Flower? Okay, so the only thing that's worse than Power Flower are Jumping Bean and Tricorn. It's okay. It's pretty good against HG. I don't actually know about this. Most things are going to be... Well, you know what? We'll, we'll draw some cards. This will be playable on turn four. This is fine. Man, Sunflower on one is working here. I love this, by the way. It might not be the most competitive thing, but when you can get it, it's, it's so great. Rocket isn't playable on two. Rocket will work on three. He'll, he'll basically answer our two cost card on turn three. Come on, bro. Yeah, I'll protect the Sunflower. I'm pretty sure Little Buddy typically goes in front, unless you really need it to upgrade to Elderberry next turn. Uh, and then Sunflower goes, goes behind, because he gives you extra sun. Just makes you able to play hard tempo. So this guy's roping now. Late cheek packs come back? I hope so. I, I don't have a lot of faith in anything anymore. Anything EA and EA related. Wow, man's got some moves. We're still doing this place. It's kind of nice we have this little buddy here. See ya. I'll give him one of these. Whew, it's running Rooster. Is this the deck we. No, it's not the deck we played yesterday. It's kind of. Hey, I cut Fire Rooster out of that anyway. Can we block? Rescue Radish is so good here. So good. It's the same old thing. <laughs> Great. I don't even need to play this. We'll get more value out of this later. Protect something for free. Oh boy. Okay. Um, so if we get Godify, will we play here? Weed Whack we definitely play. Mog we definitely don't play. 
freezes in our hands. Is this annoying enough to goatify here? I think so. I'm not sure about that. We have freeze to like sort of stall something. I think this is fine. Maybe I really should be not. I, I haven't given this enough thought. If they have something with three attack, two attack, you don't go to five. If they have something with three attack, that's gonna be hitting us for the next few turns. I mean, we can't really front this the next turn, or else it trades with the forget me nuts, with the mixed nuts. I mean, it's gonna end up doing a lot of damage. Is it better just to save, stay for the value? Oh, it's like another rescue radish combo. Let's go. What you got? Where did he get this from? Space time. Piece of garbage. It's the same old thing. Just want to prevent. Trying to just choke his cards a little bit here. In 2018. Look at this combo. Look at the heals. Three cost three, four. Heal your face for two. Crazy value. Now what? Uh, we'll, we'll get more value out of this. And if he, he'll have to spend a whole barrel of barrels, and if that's how he uses it, so be it. Okay. It means we block here at least. Cringe. <laughs> block there. Can't mog. Huh? <laughs> I wanted weed whack. He's okay. He's okay. This is strike through next turn. We're in, we're in good shape. We don't have any environments in this deck. Something I neglected to put in. I don't I don't think there's any. It would have to be bog exactly, and it's, it's just not worth it. What the fudge? Okay, so that's a good mog. I'm glad we have this now. See ya. I can't even play it this time. This actually survives, which is nice. It's the same old thing. Do we play the sunflower here? I I'm kind of blindly doing this because like, hey, we got extra sun, but next turn's six, we'll have seven. So in case I get a two, which two is even playable next turn? This makes corn unplayable. I don't know about this. I probably don't play this actually. We'll use it. We'll get more value. I think it, I'm not valuing my cards enough here. Go. Mushy pancake. Thanks for following. I don't. I don't say follow. I just happen to see it flash on the screen. I was looking at my brother. Ow! Ow! The heals, actually. This is nice with a little. Mm, there's gonna be some heals going on. What's going on? Okay. And we got corn. An answer to this, pretty good. I don't really have a lane to play my flowers, though, unfortunately. I'll probably just spam one here. Awkward. It's not running out of steam. This is a cool thing. I wonder if there's like a really competitive Dr. Space Time deck that just keeps on conjuring cards and you just chump block them. I'm really interested. I kind of like went away from it yet when the stream yesterday where we did the competitive like leap deck. I want to maybe do the competitive conjure deck. We tried it with Super Brains. That's an interesting play. So always goes here. Question is, what will we get? Oh, it's four damage. It's harsh, man. So we'll be at six. We'll be at seven. And we're not healing. This is rough. I wish we had a lane for this, but we don't have this deadly. It really hurts. Ah, oh, so I think we kill this. It's probably not gonna have a lane for that later. Give him one of these. And this goes in the only lane where it does anything, so it's here. Yeah, we're not in good shape again. It's gonna be very close. I mean, we're, we have... We're winning on the field. His environment's really hurt. It just means we can't, like, block anything. 
Okay, I think blocking this is good. So this gives us Weed Whack. I think keeping him out of this lane is, is probably the way. So we'll have seven. I hope I don't regret that. Yeah, we couldn't play all this. We can't play the Mixed Nessus turn anyway. So this this is a really strong... Um, two and three, so we want it to hit as early as possible. I think I still hold off on this. Kind of need this for the Mixed Nuts next turn. Maybe I'll put it here? Maybe I'll just save it. I don't need the ramp. There's no need this. I mean... There's a few cards we can get that end up being playable if we play this now. This is a two sun swing, so if we get a five drop. Ugh, this is huge. But this can also die for free and end up losing us the game. Oh, we're in good shape. He needs a... He needs to block. We usually win here. Let's go. Nailed it. He got him again! Oh my god! These games are so close! Oh! <laughs> Bro, okay. 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 Wow, if we're low on cards, maybe I should get rid of the Ice Spore and, and put in two more Jumping Beans. I think I'm going to do that. I don't see the... I think there's going to be too many things that are in front of our minions that we're going to need to bounce to. So, I'm, I'm going to... I'm going to... I'll make the switch. We're kind of just low on cards and low on steam and power, so Jumping Bean ends up just being better. I think that's correct. <laughs> well, that was... Really, we were supposed... I, I'm relieved because he, you know, he had a couple of strike-through lanes, which he, you know, he wasn't able to utilize. He ended up with a six-cost card at the end, which sucks. All right. Uh, I took a picture of this, right? I'll have to update the stack list a little bit. Nothing being a good card, though. So, yeah. Quickly uh, update the deck list here. 4 0 so far. Oh, man. <laughs> the rescue radishes have been a hero. Boots. We don't have ketchup mechanic, which might have hurt here against like the really aggressive boogaloo. I, I don't think this is worth keeping a second apple saucer. Again, against a party hero, maybe, but crazy. It's too slow. This actually is pretty safe here as long as we play on heights so the light of trap around the ground. It's weird. So this is going to be a really aggressive deck. I'm pretty sure this is still correct. And we'll go for the freeze applesauce plates. That's looking pretty good. What the fudge? What the freaking... What is going on here? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay. I don't even have to... I, I think it's a, this is the play still. Yeah. Breeze really just negates these. He's gonna be final missioning these to my face, by the way. I really have been thinking about this deck where you use tennis champ, get a free get free damage, and he'll get four here, but then you just have like a bunch of final missions. Like I don't know. How many final missions can you have? Otherwise you're just proccing my block and just, just gonna be sort of giving me answers to stuff. Questionable. There's that. What the hell? Okay, we can jumping beam that next turn. The question is, how desperate are we to get to five? Um, I'm always bouncing this. I, I think instead of protecting the sunflower, I'm gonna I'm gonna play this because I, I really want that cat lady to get bounced. It's gonna sort of just negate the the orca, which is the play here. We don't. Our curve really needs us 
In fact, our, it really would like us to be at 6 the turn after, too, so I, I'm gonna put this here. I'll put this here. If we had a 4, I, I would probably value the 3, too, here and keep a lane clogged and stuff. Our opponent's basically out of steam already. <laughs> So I'm valuing the Sunflower over the Applesauce one. It's not doing enough damage. Just because of our curve. Here we go. This also... What the hell, man? I don't know what's going on here. Uh, I'll go face. But yeah. It gives him a card back in his hand, but... It, it deletes the, 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 the Dolphin. He was probably gonna, gonna buff this somehow this turn anyway. I don't know it's running back up dancing. I wonder if this is a sniper who voted yes here. This is not. This guy's just freaking memeing. <laughs> this isn't even a real deck. It's gonna be a real deck. So how do we do this? Uh, I think this little buddy is correct, since we have another team up in our hands. It preserves a... a 3-2. I think it's... Cakes, it's just more card advantage for us. Oh, oh my gosh, look at <laughs> Wow, wait, we don't have... do we have a nut? The only nut in the... well, we have mixed nuts. This has to be nut evolution, right? And we also have Tricorn as a nut. <laughs> no, I want to get the synergy. I don't know what's going on here. So I just keep bouncing these out? Oh, this guy's too much. This is just... Just keep doing damage, I guess. I don't know. Just try to put them away. It's not a really great play there, actually. We have the Godify, so I don't need to hold on to the removal. Uh, this was turn 7, so next turn 8, 9. There probably will be a 9 threshold somewhere, even though this this card is, if we... I think this is going to be fine. I think we play this. Chickening is pretty good here. I should have played around Chickening, man. Okay. Gosh, I think would have cleared her fear. That sunflower died for free. I'm gonna play around backup dancers. That was his power he's been holding for a long time. Radishes are definitely nuts, guys. That's right. Do you, do you know that this is a sniper? <laughs> it's being pretty dumb, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't seen Evans as a sniper, it just seems like a person using a terrible deck. Doink! Tricorn. Uh. This one? This one? Because of block meter?
So that's lethal. Uh, if he doesn't have like a fruitcake or something. 12 damage Triquin. I'm counting it. No evidence of that being a sniper. It's just a person playing a meme deck. Which I would actually count de games against snipers who are playing meme decks. If they're, again, if he's, he was running all... He was running pretty bad. <laughs> if he was running all just all backup dancers, I probably wouldn't, you know, I mean, stuff like that. All the one ones, I wouldn't count it, but... I do count meme decks. I don't count it as if they're... If they're clearly roping and then looking at my plays, then I just quit. If they're using a direct counter to my deck, then I don't count it. And then if they're running just, uh, you know, all one ones, then I won't count either. Same old thing. Wow. Oh. Get bricked, bro. I feel like there's so many things we can top deck that activate this in the first few turns here, so... It's not what we're looking for. Even mulliganing this and getting Sunflower in this hand doesn't really help us. Okay. Can't really weed whack this. I can use like a corn on this, perhaps. I think I'm just holding this still. Clogging some your bomb lanes. Here's things like Toxic Waste if we really want to hit. It's a lot annoying. Yes! The top deck madness has arrived! Boys! Wow, we really want this little buddy to live here. Do I put this behind? I might as well. I might as well. Because we need to we need to have a target for the Elderberry here. So if he plays Beam Me Up, this it just ends up being better. Overall better. This is really nice when this is protected too. You don't want the elderberry in front, you want it behind. Lapathy. The heels was nice too. Everything's nice here. Oh, this you know, we ended up with a terrible curve. This little buddy just monumentally changed our hand here. It changed this game. That's probably a pogo. Do I just play around pogo? Is this crazy? To preserve the little buddy here? It's, like, usually Pogo. This isn't a terrible play either if it's not. Because we'll have the little buddy around for the Tricorn. We're probably playing on curve. We're not going to have a chance to play at Sunflower. I think I just play around Pogo. Okay. Too bad. This actually trades well against teleportation anyway. So. The five damage would have been better, but I, I, I'm not regretting anything. Frosty. I see Mustache as a card that I'm just wondering how you don't fall behind in terms of tempo, but maybe in a tempo deck it would be good. Huh. I should think about that. Better think about it. Sound like Jordan Peterson. You better think well, I'm gonna give you something to think about. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't like when he says that. Um when he says anything. Um Whoa Fry. Um <laughs> Tempo with Frosty Mustache. Trick two now. Now what do we do? Jumping Beam? It looks kind of sweet here. And also just develop a powerful... Well, he can't teleport anything anyway. Why would I play Jumping Beam? That would be pretty dumb. That would be a dumb play. There we go. Plus, we're healing for three. There's three flower. I forgot Elderberry is a flower, too. <laughs> Ramping, too. Bad been rising. Okay. Was there a weed whack play that I missed there? That's all right. Get blanched. No. Bad. Weed whack, though. The Tricorn's really tempting, but this Weed Wag is that heals for three. It's huge, man. Huge! Huge! I think this is strong enough. This, I mean, I think this is strong enough. And we'll get him with one of these. And I'll ramp. 
ten of that. Well, hmm. He's probably going for a teleport there. And he might also just be going for Bad Moon Rising. He died yet. I don't know. Yeah, we just denied the teleportation zombie. It works great. Now he's gonna have to play that minion and it just gets goaded here. Goaded. It's gonna get goaded. Yes! Sunflower. Nice. Means we can play our tricorn here. Instead of into the clogged lanes. It'll at least do four. Really nice! Survey says. Oh, oh, oh dear god. Dear god. These strike throughs are dangerous. He just doesn't have a good great answer to these. Back air bounce is at best. So it's probably Bad Moon Rising. Um Give him one fewer shot at a Zombot? Mm, nah. How about no? This probably should have gone here, actually. Is the chat okay? It seems like there's some people... Guys, oh my gosh, the betting is making people. Let's just calm down. It's channel points, okay? Uh, so he got a freeze, which was good. Okay. And this was garbage. Deadly. Oh, he kills Tricor. Nice. Problem is, he's really screwed for next turn. Extreme, exceedingly screwed. Good doing. Get on. Get on. I didn't really think much about that play, but presuming this is correct. Three three shots at his face. Should be okay here. Need somehow to answer both of these minions still. No, we got him. Aroy! Aroy! Alright. I'm quite the roll today. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tricorn should have gone in one. <laughs> Calculate the possibility of Zombot from Bad Moon Rising? Sure. I wonder if Zombot. I wonder if we should include Cryo Yeti in there because it can at least, like. What's the chance of removing a particular minion? Go ahead, Mr. Mr. Nerd. Oh snap! It's pretty safe. I, I want a contingency plan though. I think this is better against Infinity. That's nice. This is. Do we get rid of this? Do we look? We get greedy in terms of early game. Little Buddy's better. Really, everything except Tricorn is actually better here and Jumping Bean. So I think I will do this. <laughs> Again, it's it's safe because well no, it's not safe against Infinity Clones. I, it's got to be worth it, though. <laughs> the, the, again, even if he has Infinity Clones with 1 and 4, the chance of it hitting is still only a 2 and 5. Uh, worst case scenario, just trade to the Bungie Plumber, which is exactly what want to happen here. It's just an even trade now. Yep, we're doing great. Ooh, we some top deck. We got some top decks going on. I think this goes on the ground, because it's the one we like dying to Frenzy and doesn't usually get a little buddy in front of it. We actually have a curve now, okay? Didn't play around that. But it still gets the damage. Yeah, it's just dead for free. There's no answer to that. Oh, there is an answer! The rescue radish coming in clutch! Let's go! Oh, but it doesn't oh, oh it's so good though. I, I think I'm doing this anyway, guys. I think I'm doing this anyway. I, I know the the hammer looks really good. No, I gotta do it. I gotta do it. Okay, I hope I'm not. Just because I have this jumping bean. And so I'm gonna like freeze. I can't hammer this next turn, but I have freeze hammer into jumping bean on five. I think this is gonna be alright. Also conjures him a card. Uh but it's so good. <laughs> I might that might have been an emotional play, guys. I'm so excited. Okay. See what we get. 
This this card can make a big difference here. It's a little buddy, it does. Rescue Radish coming in huge. So that's the guy from Rapture. That's a really strong card, guys. Uh, I wonder if we're going to Jumping Bean here. Uh, I think we save the hammer and we just sack this. It's a little bit odd. The rescue radish is... There's no point. I mean, you can rescue radish the rescue radish. And make the trade. I think this is okay. It opens up some things for next turn. It's definitely jumping me. We don't need a ramp here, right? Wait. This is turn... Five coming up, yeah. That's turn four. I thought we ramped. I don't know why. For a second. Rawr! <laughs> it's Raptor looking pretty, pretty thick. Not gonna lie. Tricorn, let's go. I'm gonna play the jumping bean on ground, I think, just so we have an extra lane for the tricorn. It's the, it's the target. Unless we need to jump block this. Oh, we get make the two for one with the jumping bean. Let's go. Look at the guy with the OTK Raptor strats. Uh, oh, now we get both. And it's better to take out. The Conmans are better in lane 4. They end up doing more damage because you end up drawing cards during attack phases sometimes. Um, so it's better to take this one out anyway. It means it dies to Trapper, but... Live and die with that. Or do we? Deadly? It's okay. It's a really slow deadly. We're in really good shape here. It still trades. I mean, it's still, I mean... At least that deadly command is dead. Dead. So we have one, two, and three looks really good. This also opens up the rescue radish to rescue this one here. So I think this nerfing it, hammer the raptor, which he's going to play this turn probably, and then set up a 3-2 three, a three strike through her. In very, very good shape here, guys. We also have... Okay, let's think of the other possibilities. We also have strike through... So this always gets hammered. This is a no-brainer. There's no point in tricorning here. There's no way. So we always hammer this. I might as well put the put the. Well, is this what we want to upgrade the tricorn to next turn? I think this is fine. I think let's just make the more optimal play. We don't actually even have to ever play this tricorn like ever and this also just gets this con man it keeps our health up this is fine this also plays around deadly instead of just playing this <laughs> i'm just thinking like if we just play applesauce are we gonna just save the tri save the corn so we can like develop tricorn in four but this prevents deadly from doing a damn thing there oh we i think we got this guy ah that's great perfect oh boy even dry tricorn is fine here we don't even have to upgrade it on something what is the Rescue Radish play? It's going to be Rescue... Quasar spending so many resources. We should, probably should play around um, Fruitcake. Since we really don't need all this damage here. So I think the Rescue Radish goes here. We sack this into it. We also can... um. Okay, the interesting thing we can do here, since we lose the trade here anyway, is pick this up. And play it again to open this lane up. That's correct. And we'll play the the, the apple. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, there's also three one and, and mixed nuts. I don't think that's right. This is a really cool rescue radish with corn. I feel like we've been utilizing these rescue radishes like insanity. So we're hitting him three times now. Yep, that's correct. Again, let's just chump blocks and dies and does three damage. We should have him here. He probably needs doubles. He also has a Quasar power. And he also is running bungees in this deck. There's that. At least it's trades. Mm, now he needs double threes. Didn't get a useful Quasar power. It's lucky. Just a lot of things at least kill this three two here. And that's it. I'm so happy with this deck, man. This 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 is this is good. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. 
Let's go. Just mulligating, so all right. This is fine. <laughs> rescue radish. Oh my gosh, the rescue radish is in this deck, man. Let's go. Hey, yes, we have a decent two and three. I don't really need more than this. He plays like uh, hmm. uh, brain freeze passing the first couple turns against this deck is. Just fine. Ooh, should I have set this up because of the elderberry? That would have been some some thinking there. Okay, so this is lion dancing zombie, which we won't give him a choice. Smelly zombie would just be the juke of the century here. Um, pirates. We actually do this against pirates because then the the corn kills the flame face. Loudmouth. This definitely trades well into loudmouth. Boy. Yep. This dies to the corn. So it's not even going to be elderberry yet. It's going to be corn and applesauce. And if we play something really scary, we'll go to corn getting value. It's going to be jumping beamed out. I'm going to grave tank in this deck. That's a really interesting... Why is he playing this? I can go to fi that. I don't feel like I should, though. We can go to fight and then it trades. We'll probably have a better go to fight. Why is he playing this here? No, no, no. He's smoke bombing it. He's smoke bombing it. That's the only explanation. The smoke bomb actually kills this now. I can go to fight after he smoke bombs too. There's no other explanation other than smoke bomb. He's definitely smoke bombing that. Okay. See you later. In fact, this will just go here. Because why the hell not? Because why the hell not? We'll go. We'll let him waste the smoke bomb, and then we'll go to fight in the water lane. Okay? I don't get it. Why did he play that on... Can someone explain why he played that on heights? That is so confusing. I, I, it's actually just jumping me now. We're jumping me this one. Okay, great. I think because of the tricorn. Let's do this. I, I'm so confused about that toxic waste of cell. Anyone have an explanation? Yeah, this deck's doing well even for a non-budget deck, but for a budget deck, this is exceeding all expectations. There's no extinction event. This game is super awkward. What is he running? He's running Toxic Waste Stamp, two Flame Faces so far, a bunch of Extinction events. Is he just like running a counter to this deck? I don't know, man. I have no idea what's going on here. I guess we play around Pogo. I have no idea what's in that gravestone. So don't ask me. In your hair. Do we spread these or, or keep them tight? I guess we keep them tight. I think this is the play. So it's a pirate deck with toxic waste imp and a bunch of extinction events. Oh, it's awkward. Okay. It's getting good. We're jumping good, actually. It's actually kind of nice that he's spending all this. Oh boy. This procs are block. Owie. Same old thing in 2000. We're definitely jumping this one next turn. I think we mod this because we have go. Give him a card. It's annoying. We're either jumping bean or, or tricorn. 
He's just been passing so much. I almost wish he would overcommit here. Yes. So, I mean, we lose to, like, Lunchbox. Does he have a superpower, too? He used his Galvanize, so he doesn't have a superpower. Uh, it's gotta be the Tricorn, right? Uh, Nibble. Nibble also, we just lose to Nibble, but... I think we are... I think we're, we're in a desperate enough situation here that we... Have to take this high risk, high reward play and get value from this tricorn at least once. Yes, we're good. This is also giving us block meter charge, which we desperately need. Huge three for one. Three for two, actually. Now we can start bouncing what he plays here, which is nice. Sneezing. It's okay. It's the same old thing. So I don't want him getting that back. We'd like to proc his block, though. I think this two damage coming in is not that scary. We're doing nine. Okay, so it's like this. Mew. Also plays around area 22, which is very likely what he's going for. I think that's fine. And we're also setting up lethal, that's the main point. So this still does three damage, which is nice. Smokey here. Oh, going for the win. It's also freeze. Okay. Um another jumping beam. Please don't roll one. This allows us to use the jumping beam on something else, or just wait. It also gives an extra card here, which is nice. Oh boy. It's running another sneezing. Awkward indeed. Five and three does not win. So it's probably four and five. There's the goat here. We can also just set up and goatify. I can also set up in one, which means he needs to top deck an answer. I think I'm gonna just let this happen. This is an, a really awkward play, but it's like this. This has got to be right. Oh no, the goatify hits this. Whoops. Okay, we're, it means we're just taking three though. This is. Still the play. This is still like already, already past that. Do not go to five, Fry. <laughs> Gonna lose. This just wins next turn now, especially with the jumping beam. Taking three. It's gotta be right. The jumping beam here. It prevents like a strike through card. Like, what could he get from this imp right now? Is there anything? Cake explosion? What is it? There's an imp gravestone. So stealthy imp? What other imp gravestones are there? Quick, guys. It's just stealthy imp, right? Is there anything else? Bomb. I think it's just guaranteed, right? <laughs> Loud. Yes, we got him. <laughs> Lab <Lamo? laughs> hey, That's a very, very specific knowledge of what is the one... What is the one... The Which imp gravestones are there in the game? Okay, so there's three, but we won. It was guaranteed against all of them. We didn't even see there. We got eight, guys. That's it. That's it for the bets. Now, I'm still going to play two more games, but, um... Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, we got... <laughs> this is already, just already doing freaking amazing. Can we get the 10-0, though? That's the real question. 
for the answer. I'm stalling for time for the answer. 61% of you said no for this deck, man. The answer is yes already. Let's go. A lot of salt in the chat right now. Fry me. You know what? I, 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 I do actually end up facing this guy when I'm playing offline. Should I count those? You know what? It doesn't even count for the, for the channel bet, so I'll just let it happen. That's a that's a curve, bro. Yeah, I know the people who said yes actually got a lot because it was disproportionate, very disproportionate. There were um, there were uh the the total the totals were actually pretty similar. It's 189k versus 118k. Yeah, this is about a two to three ratio. Uh, the question is, do we go to fly this? The question is, do we go to fly? The amount of damage this is going to end up doing over the next turns, yeah, this has got to be right. Plus, it'll it'll give us our next block. This is probably just going to be Garg Mech. Uh, we don't have as much healing as we like to have against um, Garg Mech, so let's see how this goes. And I, I'm actually very curious. If this is the exact Garg Mech list, I'm very, very curious to see how it goes. This is actually a very good anti guard mech hands. Extremely good. See ya. It's guard mech. It's not trick mech, it's guard mech. The one with the, the gargologist here. This is the jumping bean is a really good answer to the hippity hop on five. Probably just playing this dry. Getting a little buddy here would be nice. Ooh, better. Lanes don't really matter at all. We're in really good. This is a really good card against Gargmak too. This would have uh, it would have actually answered even better than the hammer. If he just plays hippity hop here, he just loses. It's rough. Yep. We're in insanely good shape here. Okay, there's a fruitcake. That means it's safer next turn. It's nice. What's in your head? I think there's gonna be more actual freeze value here to make a trade. Nice, likely. Only a gas giant. Ooh, ah. Uh. Should I try to make some kind of, like, actual tempo play here, though, instead of just jumping beaning this? It's pretty good. Should I, should I make him play a second fruitcake? Perhaps I should. I can always jumping bean next turn. I think I'm gonna make him spend a second fruitcake here. So I'm I'm actually gonna wait. There's another one, man. I think Fig's better? Maybe Fig is better. Oh. This actually... No, it doesn't trade against Hippity Hat. No, it doesn't. It's just gonna make our Mog happen faster. Oh, should this have gone here? Oh, dear me. Um, ooh, I might have misplayed, because he doesn't necessarily have another Garg. In fact, he didn't have a Hippity Hop last turn. That's your move? Okay. That's just two. Maybe this should have gone here. Just take the take the heat. Yeah. Good roll. Uh 
Another decision. How do we play our own final mission? Uh, this actually does. I think I'm just taking this heat, man. It's cool. It's probably final missioning. Maybe taking this damage is wrong, though. I might have just misplayed. <laughs> this is a matchup I'm really curious about. If without the allosaurus and without the catching mechanics, can Midrose beat beat um okay ow can midrose beat this deck do we have a final mission now oh boy it's a lot of resources out of his hand though yes let me block that get wrecked what a mug what a mug what a mug let's that's lethal and we got him it's that's guaranteed lethal now <laughs> Well, you know what? Even if this would have hit and we blocked, it, we didn't even need the lucky block. We had a 50% chance of guaranteed lethal with Mog there. Uh, I didn't even think of that. In fact, the other card was it was Mog and uh, and Weed Whack was the other one, so we wouldn't have done a damn thing. But that was a 50-50 of guaranteed lethal. So we beat Gargmech with Midrose. <laughs> anyway. There's enough removal in this deck, though. We didn't even need the jumping beans. Man, got it. Let's go. Let's go. He, I think he'd, he'd set that up right. Go for the 50 50. So we're 9 0 now. Yes. Relying too heavily on the barrel. Maybe there was a different play. Yeah, they're probably at, because of that 50 50 of the Mog. And we're definitely blocking that turn. We have three charges left on our block meter, so almost always blocking that. They're probably actually. They're probably at the end of the day was a misplay. Here's another Z Mac. Let's go! Um, so if this gets answered on one, then we want to be able to play this. And either way, this will be active on four or five. We'll have a chance. I think we're just keeping this whole hand. This is an insanely, insanely good starting hand with a lot of great possibilities. Also, if he is Gargmac, then we'll just trade this into something. Eh, we'll, we'll, we'll have some plays here. I'll play this on Heights because this is not Gargmac. Man, it's too bad because I did a budget deck, so not a lot of people. I mean, we have over 300, so it's fine. We usually have 400. For some reason, people don't like seeing the budget decks. They don't see the, you know, they want to see the RNG. That's an interesting quasar. Um, so this goes in front. We'll keep running. It's a huge, just tells us for free. We can always like scoop. We even turn three to scooping the sunflower, developing a three for us. It's pretty good here. I don't know what this is gonna be though. Glide Eater Quasar. Uh, the... Oh, we actually have four. All right, because we ramped, so we can replay this. <laughs> Replaying the sunflower is great here, guys. So I don't know where the Trinecorn really likes to be. I have no idea. We're scooping that. I think I'm just still going to keep this behind. Fruitcake actually is a two for one right now, so the chances of having a fruitcake are higher than having a trapper territory. So uh, I'll actually stick this in. In fact, he really needs a fruitcake very badly just to get these these guys. He needs one fruitcake at least just to start getting these guys off the field. There's lightning, so that's a one and a half for one. Uh, okay. So he plays next turn. So we have five here. I'd love to draw something on curve. Either a three or a five. Nice! I might just bounce this quasar. Save the mug for something bigger. 
What's the plan, Kirby? I know Quasar gives him extra curve, which probably just try to get the tempo in our favor. Prime up is my crush. Oh, you guys are so cute. Why are you so nice to me? Get wrecked! It's the king! It's the king. Just bounce. Just bounce, king. La la la, see you! The tricorn is very, very neat here. Even, even here, man. So this is turn five, and we'll have six on it. Yes! Yes! I, I no regret. By the way, like in that situation, compare this to I Spore. I Spore could have taken this out. But we still would only end up, we'd end up with fewer cards in our hands. I really think because of the card advantage situation, the Jumping Beans, and just the more versatility, Jumping Beans just the better card. More King. King me, bitch. Um, so I think Tricorn here is safe. I can also do it here. Well, I'd probably rather proc the block and him for three. Hmm. So there's Tricorn. What's the other play? Mog? Eh, this is a great Tricorn. It's a fantastic Trigar. You can't, you can't, like, get a knight here. So it's a Zemek, uh, king there. Apparently. It's the same. Oh, I'm coming on seven next turn. It just opens this up to a few more possibilities. There's Rolling Stone. You can play bro. Next time, keep it to yourself. So this will proc the block and do another three. Tricorn stays alive for eight damage next turn. In fact, we can just mog the king now and keep the Tricorn alive for an extra turn. It's probably a decent play. This Rescue Radish in our hand doesn't look super happy, but even just mog Tricorn is probably amazing here. How many fruitcakes does he have in his hand? Probably zero. No, we can't mog because we've lost our sunflower. Whoops, uh, so the creative play is gonna just put Rescue Radish here just so we do more damage and put this here so this does more damage. <laughs> so it's gonna be... This is how we protect our Tricorn. We'll give him a little scoop de doop See ya. And we'll give him one of these. Just makes more damage. A lot more. <laughs> Get right. Rescue Radish is the MVP of this deck. Come on, guys. How many different combos have we done? We've bounced little buddies, obviously. And we've been bounced. We saved our apple saucers. We saved the, the bad trade against the, the, the bro. Um, I'll freeze this. To keep my sunflower alive. Why the hell not? We've been, we Rescue Radish, Rescue Radish. We haven't even Rescue Radish Jumping Beam, which is a play on turn eight, which is amazing here. Let's go, guys. So we went 10 and 0 with a budget deck, finally breaking the curve. This is really good, though. I mean, this is, this is, this is fine. I had a lot of close games, obviously, but it, it performed well. I mean, come on, guys. So really, really happy with how this turned out. I don't know, man. I don't know, with a budget deck. No super rares, no legendaries. Finally back to that. I honestly think I would, like, if I had to compete in a tournament where super rares, event cards, for sure event cards, because Solar Flare has haunted Pumpkin, Pirate decks, at least, you know, you have going viral in the sports decks, you have uh, Flame Face in the Pirate decks. If I had to, but even if you were allowed, like, super rares, and, uh, or like, or event cards, let's say, event cards and, and, and below, and no super rares, no legendaries, I mean, this would be the deck I would pick, because I think it has, it's just more consistent, like, the Glass Cannon Agro Solar Foil, a lot easier to play, but it just dies too hard to a deck with a bunch of control and bungee plumbers and barrels and stuff. But, uh, we got the 10 and 0 Dream with a budget deck, let's go! I'm so happy with how this worked out, what an incredible stream, can't wait to put this on YouTube. Hope you guys enjoyed, I certainly did, peace, this is Fry.